it's definitely definitely a fascinating experience to give the prelims mains kya hota hai na mains is a very tiring like you have to sit and write for very long time okay there you don't get to enjoy this wit and cleverness of upsc it's like you aap likh rahe ho likh rahe ho 6 ghante this is very like your brain is very sharp like you you are active ups is active it's like it's going to it's like a table tennis game it's very quick and it's very fast so if you're preparing preparing for such a kind of paper definitely you have to hack it i mean you have to understand the technique that needs to be uh, that means otherwise if you're doing it like any other competitive exam no you will not get there go out and attempt more than 80 85 get 60 beyond right and 58 59 bhi chalta hai considering the kind of papers we are getting thank you sir for giving me this platform of interacting with aspirant it's always fresh that i feel even more grateful when i talk ki i i'm out of that and uh, to all the aspirants who have been part of this platform uh, you are already in a like uh, in a safe hands you have the mentorship and just yes, i was there one year back hamare paas sab kuch hai like you have everything all the resources all the this thing Don't spoil it with stupid mistakes, okay? Right, guys. Let's start. I am Zishan Hashmi, Prelims Program Head at Swiss Daily, and today I have with me Vinutna Boli Pally, IAS, UPSC CSC 2022. Guys, she has backed this rank in her fifth attempt, and she is here to help you with the upcoming prelim strategy. not just because she is into ias but also she has been on both the sides she has tested failure in prelims and success she has been a, a performer a high performer all throughout like say for example in her 10th in her 12th she had 92% 94% marks she was also campus placed but it was for the first time that she tested failure academically or in an exam in the upsc csc prelims exam that was the first time so she is she is very well placed to provide practical inputs guys she has cleared prelims thrice and in her words she says that the the year that she understood the importance of past year trends and pyqs was the year in which she cleared the exam also she will be speaking on how she used to practice past year questions 2020 2013 onwards for 2 hours on a daily basis and she'll share her insights from how she analyzed past year papers for 2 hours on a daily basis she'll share a, the strategy for next 110 days that you need to follow for the upcoming prelims 2024 exam she'll also emphasize on the importance of using common sense logic in the real exam and the importance of staying calm and composed and objectively looking at those questions about which you might not have complete idea but you might have slight idea how do you get those questions right by looking at them objectively also she'll speak briefly about the new format about which there is a lot of ado how many of the above statements are correct only one only two only three all four so she shed light on how upsc had shown a glimpse of these questions in 2022 itself and how these questions are doable as part of how they were asked in 2023 exam she also uh, speak on the non negotiable areas in prelims what are the non negotiable areas in prelims uh like upsc can play with the format it can play with the pattern but these themes will always remain a constant this is what she'll be uh, speaking about uh vinutna will also speak on recycling of questions as to how upsc recycles questions say for example uh, options are turned into questions or uh, questions on same themes are repeated in a different manner so recycling of questions virutna will also uh, tell or speak on the post prelims period she says that you should like she'll be telling this more elaborately but to uh, mention it briefly that how you need to check your scores many students have this habit of not checking scores after prelims so she'll emphasize on why you need to check scores but 
नॉट फोकस ऑन द एग्जाम डेट एग्जाम डेट पर फोकस नहीं करना है ऑल दो यू आर चेकिंग द स्कोर ब्रीफली शील ऑल्सो स्पीक ऑन सी सैट एंड शी सेज विरुद्धना सेज दैट सी सैट इज अ टाइम गेम एंड पी वाई क्यूज आर द मास्टर कीज इफ यू नीड टू क्लियर सी सैट इवन मोर दैन मॉक टेस्ट पी वाई क्यू होल्ड द की फॉर क्लियरिंग सी सैट एंड आइडेंटिफाइंग द राइट क्वेश्चन that you need to attempt in the csat paper but guys before i i uh, ask vinitna to speak please understand the utility and importance of these sessions like why do we have vinitna here and why do we have these these sessions with different rankers like say for example last time i had vidyanshu vidyanshu had also given uh, three attempts he had failed three prelims back to back but then he has been clearing See uh, prelims with high margins back to back. He had been clearing IFOS cutoff. Even this year, he is giving I IFOS interview. But there was a period in his life where he was feeling utterly helpless when he was not able to clear prelims back to back. Also, I shared with you the example of Vishal, All India rank two one zero. He also got into IAS. Again, he was not able to clear prelims back to back, and the emotion of helplessness. was same but the moment he got to clear prelims uh, he bagged a rank he, he got ias similarly i had this i had this session with nikhil irms similar is the story of vinudna like i said she was a performer throughout only in the prelims examination she had to taste failure for the first time and guys such is the arduous nature of the the process that made even vinudna cry the prelims examination is such a hurdle even for those aspirants who have merit who have the caliber but not being able to understand the true demands the actual demands of the paper in the initial days leads to und undesirable results but although although the story of all these rankers beat vinutna or the other rankers i have been speaking to their stories have been unique every ranker have their unique story but there are some common grounds all of them emphasize say for example vinutna will be emphasizing on the same importance of past year trends importance of pyqs how do we analyze pyqs so as to maximize our scores in the prelims exam importance of using common sense and logic in the examination hall and how do we practice the, this usage of common sense and logic before the prelims exam importance of being calm and composed so guys you all have access to these webinars they are freely available on youtube even my lectures are freely available on youtube i can see here so far 95 students have joined and many among them are part of my dominate initiative but there are many new faces many new names that i can see i am sure many of you have already seen my freely available lectures out there so the point is this gyan aapke paas hai aaj vinutna aapko enlighten karegi mere sessions freely available hai baki ke jo rankers ke sath webinar humne kiya hai those are freely available you don't have this excuse ki sir mujhe nahi pata ki prelims clear karne ke liye kya karna padta hai kya karna chahiye because all these rankers had to go through an painful and arduous process किसी को दो बार फिल्म देना पड़ा किसी को तीन बार किसी को और ज्यादा बट अल्टीमेटली दे मेड इट वी डोंट वांट यू टू गो थ्रू द सेम पेन एंड सेम आर्डियस जर्नी सो वी हैव पुट ईच एंड एवरीथिंग बिफोर यू यूज इट टू द मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट पॉसिबल एंड 2024 का जो प्रिलिम्स है दिस शुड बी योर लास्ट प्रिलिम्स ऑन दिस नोट विरुद्धना ओवर टू यू Okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I am Vinutna Bolli Palli. Uh, I've I've been selected into the Indian Administrative Service, as sir has rightly mentioned. Thank you, sir, for introducing me. And uh, this is a big platform. There are more than ninety-eight aspirants. So uh, I'll go on with the flow. And as sir said, let's keep it very interactive. You guys can stop me and ask me questions whenever you want to. Uh, let's keep it free. And if you guys can, I mean. want to switch on your videos also you can do it okay 
so uh, now i think you uh, because last year i was just right there like giving prelims and in this drill so this last 110 days or whatever days is left this is definitely the time when we are shifting our focus into exclusive prelims orientation right this is the time in february when you apply for the exam and from here your your preparation changes the gear into uh, exclusive prelims so um, let me tell you what i have done what things i have done that worked for me uh, and i this was my fifth attempt and i cleared uh, prelims three times so firstly the point number 1 is that upsc prelims paper i mean not just the prelims mains also it's like you have to understand the importance of previous year questions okay so many so many rankers must have told you the teachers must have told you it's clearly available on the youtube and please try to understand nobody else i mean nobody can emphasize more on this but understanding that importance of pyq what did i do was i used to download not the there is a lot of material outside right there is a lot of booklets that compile like ancient indian history questions of 25 years then medieval indian mod history questions of 25 years so there are so many publications i don't want to take their names uh, but those publications what do they do they compile the questions of last 25 years for you at a place what i did was i took i went to the website upsc's website where there are previous year questions and their official keys so you download the uh, question paper from there and you download that key okay uh, do that and solve the question paper take that and and now you also have to work on training your brain to work in this time like 9:30 to 11:30 2:30 to 4:30 if your cycle is different or if you do something else th in this time i would want in the last uh, 90 days or whatever is left please to tune your brain and train it so that 9:30 to 11:30 it becomes alert and 2:30 to 4:30 it's on alert okay so uh, on this time only i used to keep a timer and solve previous year questions only of upsc like i i used to do it so many times like from 2013 to 2022 like in these last years not i i didn't go far beyond 2013 also like not from 1995 and all uh, i did from 2013 one cycle i did like a paper and then i used to do like 50 questions every day so whenever you look at a previous year question paper you please don't do it very mechanically there is uh, if you're doing previous year question just for its name sake then you will not get the juice out of it and the real intent of doing previous year questions point number 1 when you are solving a previous year question understand that upsc doesn't randomly put topics on the question paper the 100 questions or 100 balls it is throwing at us it has some weight and it has some meaning and it has absolute relevance with the things that are going on so i would want you to understand the reason behind every word that gets typed into upsc prelims question paper it's not put just like that okay so uh, there is very logically placed uh, one is that understanding and analyzing so whenever these words are put at you know please understand their intensity also that analyzing understanding looking at it don't do it mechanically then you will lose it like they, you will not get anything out of it so this was previous year questions and second is non negotiable areas and bagging certain questions i i personally think upsc prelims if i'm going fast also you please uh, ask me to go slow and you can ask me questions also okay so there are certain things like non negotiable areas or bagging certain questions what i what i keep telling and what i figured out when i have actually made out made into this thing is that upsc prelims no it's such a fascinating paper like you see it as an outsider see it as an outsider uh, my mother and father both of them are into services okay they work in agriculture and animal husbandry departments respectively in the government of andhra pradesh okay so uh, when i give them that previous year questions i think there is a question that popped up yeah i'll i'll take those questions sonali is saying can you please explain pyq uh, in in uh, some detail so okay. we'll, we'll speak on pyq sonali let's uh, let first finish on the flow we have then we'll come to it yeah yeah so what happens is that there will be nobody who knows nothing in that paper 
if you give that question paper to anybody they will be able to solve at least one or two questions give it to your mother who is a homemaker give it to your father who is a bank employee he'll solve some economy questions my mother will solve agriculture questions give it to a textile industry person he'll solve the sari questions give it to like everybody can get, get certain things right in that upsc paper so if you're preparing preparing for such a kind of paper definitely you have to hack it i mean you have to understand the technique that needs to be uh, that means otherwise if you're doing it like any other competitive exam no you will not get there uh, you have to understand there's a like a what do you call uh, the key word that you need to press things right and you will get inside okay that is one thing and uh, when i mean by non negotiable areas that i mean is like this you will understand when you are analyzing the previous year questions again everything is linked to previous year questions when you are repeatedly looking at previous year questions is there any paper in the toughest of the toughest papers whatever like in the toughest papers what people call or uh, in a different paper i would say if upsc is in the mood to change the pattern or make it more uh, like dynamic or whatever the names we give what happens is that they cannot deviate from a standard template the bedrock is the same it's like the basic structure the keshavan and the bharti it's the same they will not deny giving you questions like at least beyond 10 from the uh, uh, polity have you seen a prelims question paper in the last 15 years where there are not more than 10 polity questions okay so have you seen uh, the previous year question papers where there are no modern indian history questions where there are no art and culture questions where, with the relevance of environment where there are no environment questions so it's like there will be a uh, certain areas from which questions has to be asked it's like there is no way out upsc has to ask questions in that they might change the way of asking them they might change the uh, way they put their uh, uh, questions but they cannot stop from asking questions on polity okay and trust me lakshmi kan se hi polity ke questions nikalte hain you just have to do it right and get it right lakshmi kan you do only lakshmi kan and you can solve the polity questions and just right like just right okay it's just that you don't go into that extra mile and give in that detail okay so do that uh, identify those areas this will add me to my next uh, point the third point is that it's like you have to get your numbers right please understand when you are going into the examination hall you need to have this sense of clarity that prelims is a number game and time numbers and time is very very important in my first attempt when i couldn't clear my prelims i have attempted 62 questions which is a blunder i wouldn't call it a mistake also it's a blunder to be in that bracket okay so irrespective of the kind of paper don't go by whatever they say depending upon the toughest paper you attempt the number of questions it doesn't work like that i'm telling you uh, because i have done that and i have failed that year irrespective of the kind of paper just trust your preparation and trust these common sensical things and enter into the bracket of attempting 80 to 85 questions please do all this mathematics on your mock exams which i will tell as my fourth point third point is that uh, when you are entering into the exam you have to attempt beyond 80 questions 80 to 85 is a good game 85 and beyond 85 if you are going 86 87 theek hai 85 86 it's okay but if you are going beyond 90 then you are again playing with your luck don't do that it's stupid don't do beyond 90 all these things whatever you want to play no do it in your mocks give 100 give 99 give 98 do whatever you want in your mocks okay in prelims 80 to 85 is a good number see what does this mean it's basic logic right 80 to 85 you are attempting which means you are entering into a bracket of 170 and 170 if everything goes right right so you need to be beyond 110 or 120 see you need to get 60 questions right okay 60 questions or 60 to 65 is the bracket you need to get right for being on a safe side like you can blindly go and go ahead and prepare for the your mains right so you need to get beyond 60 right you need to attempt more than 80 for when you do this mathematics the basic thing that comes into your mind is you will not know 40 questions in that paper so immediately when you open a previous year questions or a mock exam paper 
एंड यू नो दैट अरे दिस क्वेश्चन आई डोंट नो दिस क्वेश्चन आई डोंट नो अरे उसमें फोर्टी क्वेश्चन आपको पता होंगे नहीं प्लीज एक्सेप्टेड ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन तो आप अटेम्प्ट करने नहीं वाले एंड बाकी के बीस क्वेश्चन गलत भी होगा तो कुछ नहीं होगा ओके आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग माई सेल्फ टू गेट ट्वेंटी रॉन्ग प्लीज एक्सेप्ट दैट ये नेगेटिव जा रहा है नेगेटिव बीस तो मैं ही बोल रही हूँ नेगेटिव जाएंगे ही जाएंगे ओके एटीन ट्वेंटी नेगेटिव इज फाइन not knowing 15 is fine and those 25 you need to accept don't struggle with every question that i will tell in the other point okay uh, just a moment uh, student is saying that audio is improper guys can you hear vinutna yes uh, i how are you okay please continue yeah so please get this numbers right at least in the general studies paper 1 and paper 2 please get your uh, on a post it notes please place this numbers get your strategy these are all part of your broad term strategy understanding that you have to get this numbers right don't go and attempt 60 questions then you are ending up in the bracket of 120 usme so negatives jayenge hi jayenge and up you will come down to 80 and there is no chance of giving marks go play like don't play very defensively very carefully ye nahi karna wo nahi karna aise nahi khelte wo game go out bold attempt more than 80 and i'll tell in the uh, next uh, the preparation how to attempt the paper go out and attempt more than 80 85 get 60 beyond right and 58 59 bhi chalta hai considering the kind of papers we are getting 58 59 if you are getting is also it's working now okay so this is the number for js paper 1 when it comes to csat csat is again a number game uh, for those of you who are engineers who are non engineers please get it out of your head it's nothing like that being on an engineer side it might have you an edge or not an edge it, it, this is not the time but now in this last times what you have you need to focus on csat because you cannot go to that paper without practice okay uh, csat i myself i'm an engineer so i'm telling you that the kind of questions the aptitude paper you please need to uh, practice it a lot and in this i would say uh, i am also including my fourth point here mocks gs paper 1 ke liye mocks ki relevance is different gs paper 2 uh, that is uh, csat ke liye mocks is different i would say for csat paper please don't rather than relying on any institutes uh, mocks for csat i would say ever since the csat is introduced in upsc and since it's qualified made only qualified do the papers of upsc only pick up the papers from the upsc website take them and the answer keys why am i telling you answer keys i'll tell uh, that in a bit so uh, pick up the papers of upsc 2013 say in the afternoon from 2:30 to 4:30 practice those papers practice those papers only okay uh, because upsc ka jo csat puchne ka tarika hai na that is quite different from what uh, you other mock i mean institutes ka jo mock exams hote hai na that is quite different and what upsc asks is different okay the passages also they don't uh, they are not able to uh, replicate okay so i would say for csat practice upsc and if you think it's not sufficient for me or i it's not enough for me because there are hardly 10 or uh, beyond 10 11 papers so if you think that's not uh, sufficient for me from the mocks like institute ke jo mocks hote usme se aap um, passages ki practice kar lena okay and if you are doing a csat paper without timing it then you are not practicing it because csat is about time 80 questions hote hai you need to attempt more than 50 okay and you need to your your reading capacity you you can you have the time to read the passage only once okay and you have to get the answer trust me csat is not tough csat is not tough it's just that your mind is so exhausted after gs paper 1 and uh, you you are still going through that you you're so exhausted and tired that you uh, you're not able to focus that much otherwise the passages are quite simple you, the answers options are very very simple for for people who have written gs paper 1 she said so it's very like smooth compared it's just that you have that burden and that's exactly their strategy so you please keep your uh, brain while going to csat as if you're going to gs paper 1 subah pehle paper hua hi nahi main freshly ja raha hu csat paper dene ke liye aise jao okay and have a very light lunch that day and uh, go to csat paper and like i'm telling you सीसेट में क्या होता है ना यू मस्ट है पूरा मॉक एग्जाम्स की वजह से व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट 
यू मस्ट हैव डन ऑल दिस टाइम एंड मेन एंड वर्क ये सारे जो क्वेश्चंस होते हैं रिवर अप एंड रिवर डाउन एंड व्हाट एल्स दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड टेम्पलेट क्वेश्चन टाइम मेन एंड वर्क रिवर अप देन दिस मैट्रिसेस देन what else fills bucket in for 14 hours so what this kind of questions what happens is that uh aapko lagta hai ki i can solve them but you might not be able to solve them there so don't take it ki mujhe isko solve karna hi hoga upsc mein your qualities are also checked you need to cleverly make a decision there it seems like i can do it but i might not be able to do it it's like cost benefit analysis you have to do the cost benefit analysis in csat if you are investing 1 minute on a question and you are not getting something out of it and if you are not certain it will go right then don't do it you might end up wasting your 1 minute which is very very precious rather there will be certain questions to which ek passage hota there will be like hardly four five lines and if you solve that passage there will be straight three questions you will get right you know that a is sitting beside b b is sitting sit uh, side c and if uh, e is sitting opposite get that puzzle right and aapko seedhe teen questions mil jayenge and agar aapne wo puzzle sahi kiya teen questions certainly sahi hote hain so then you should invest your time and energy not in those questions where you think i might get and you will end up getting wrong isme aap time lagao kyunki isme benefit hota hai okay so you have to in this practice jo aap kar rahe ho whenever you are practicing this you please understand okay in these kind of questions if i am investing time i am getting three questions straight and three questions is very big number in csi okay instead of appearing spending one minute on one question i'll spend two minutes on a passage and get three questions right so all these all this becomes a part of your mathematics what you do on your uh, doodling and rough and scribble and then you make this thing ki okay all my weapons are ready for csat okay please understand it's time it's numbers it's time and numbers for that you need practice for csat and make wise decisions and quick decisions on csat paper ye sochna nahi ki maine isko practice kiya ye main solve karke hi raunga nahi karna wo nahi aata csat mein baki ke questions aasani se aa jate wo karna okay then i will come to what i uh, mean by degree of predictability so as i was mentioning earlier also you can predict upsc questions trust me when i was going for my mains no i told my father he, he was sitting outside i told when i was going for my gs paper 3 that this time there will be a question on cyber security there will be a question on naxalism there will be questions on artificial intelligence and other things see government of india is going to recruit civil servants right they will not ask something which is not a part of our job profile then this question that they will ask anything under the sun is a myth trust me it's a myth they will not ask anything under the sun they will ask the most relevant logical things what are required for us uh, and which is there existent out there आप प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस अगेन दिस ऑल इंटरलिंक्ड ओके जब भी आप प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस सॉल्व कर रहे हो ना लुक एट इट दिस वे why is so much emphasis being given on species why red data book or iucn or sites or wildlife because there's so much hue and cry going on on environment it has become such big issue that you cannot deny and upsc jo it, it wants you prelims uh, it wants civil servants who wants to work for environment to matlab it is nothing but obvious that it will ask questions on environment so solve your get your environment right and four five questions so usse aate aate so four five questions maybe if you are going in, if you are adding a little bit depth two three questions two questions i would say species mein puchte puchte and what you have to do and institutes are doing such good work hamare liye sare species compile karke rakhte okay what i used to do was i used to have a lot of lists which i used to quickly revise before going to prelims okay and uh, this list was like species all the species which were in the news in the past 11 months in this last 110 days or whatever is left you know please do these kind of things somebody is saying it's not audible uh, you are audible you are audible ha huh. so what do you do is make this kinds of lists that prepared with you okay national parks ho ya yeah, i'm telling you species se questions aate 2023 prelim, prelims people said uh, such a tough paper it was a, was there no question on prelims there was on species there was was there no question on polity there was 
you know, you that's why I'm saying prepare on this year. And second, please see in the last six, seven years, the emphasis that is being put on art and culture of India. Isn't it uh, very, very evident that art and culture questions will be there? Buddhism and Jainism is one, one area from which UPSC will definitely ask questions. Who is the future Buddha? And Jainism ke baare mein, Jainism and Buddhism, especially questions are they are. Okay. And international organizations. See, itna bada jo chel rahe, jo, uh, we have uh, the G20 summit. Will you expect UPSC, who is recruiting Indian foreign service officers through this prelims, will not ask questions on G20? will not ask the questions on the international dynamics. So look at the organizations, which are the summits that are happening, the countries that are active, the countries with whom, whom we are in, interested in having diplomatic relations. See, Maldives, Abhi, uh, Abhi on Bharat Darshan, we were in Lakshadweep, okay? So there, when we went, we realized the, the dynamics that are going on, Maldives, Lakshadweep, India, China. So Isme se jo islands se jo relevant areas se Bangaram, Agati, Kavrati, arrange them in uh, north to south, arrange the islands in south to north. This is what UPSC is asking. No, Now can you tell that UPSC is asking out of the blue and asking un anything under the sun? No. Prime Minister went to Lakshadweep on January 3rd. He was, he was, and Prime Minister doesn't go on a tour, okay? Like he goes with law. It's a very strategic decision. And that are our questions. So you need to be a little observant and please read the previous year questions in that angle, okay? So this is one more thing I wanted to say when I meant by bagging questions. So if you're getting this basics wrong, no, you might end up not getting that magic number of beyond 60. So how does how do you get that 60? Polity say, worst possible scenario, you will get 12 questions. 14 be pooch 15 be pooch 10, 11, 12, okay? So get your 11 questions. Polity, le 11, polity say you will get 11 questions. Get your 11 right or 12 right. If you're So 12 questions are again. You, you cannot go wrong in polity. Polity say what twist nahi karte. You cannot say. And even if they're asking something, it will be something that is in the news. CAG, elections are coming. Election Commission of India. Read all the statutory bodies. Read all the constitutional bodies. This may say question, last year there was a question on RBI. Read all the statutory bodies. Where does the RBI govern? Statutory bodies, constitutional bodies. These is may say questions out there. Okay. And if you're getting confused in that and missing out on polity, then that is something which should not happen. So that is how you bag your questions. 10 hoge. And then come to art and culture. Just may say five to six questions out there. Shall you get three right? Uh, 10, uh, 11 hoge. Then four right? 13, 14, 15, 16. Environment five, 21. Then you get modern Indian history, five, right? Then you get five economy, right? Essay, essay, five, five, 10, 15, 30, you reach that 60. Okay, you can, jo questions randomly put you, see, there was a question on F1 race, no? uh, when I gave 2022 prelims, there was a question on Formula One, this thing. I don't know it. Neither does anybody. And I'm telling you, I'm only attempting 85. Formula One race, ke mein, that becomes the problem. When you go, Thinking ki mujhe Formula 1 attempt karna hai because I'm losing out on polity. If you're not ready with your polity gun right, then if you are losing on Formula, you have to attempt Formula 1 now. Kyunki aapne polity chhod rakha hai. You understood. That's why. So get your basic strong. Get your this uh, the number game strong. Aap, agar aapko chhodna bhi hai, 15 questions chhootte hi hai. Okay. This is another thing. And now let me come to, uh, I think I've spoken because once your questions uh, come, I can uh, tell more. And um, let me tell my last point that is performing in the exam. See, this is the first stage and uh, you have all the motivation available over the internet. There are people to aid you. I don't, because I was there and I can tell you that you don't need motivation at all. All you need is that, uh, the tech, there is a tech, please don't think ki ye sab hum kya karte na? You need to understand that UPSC ka jo May 26th ho, jo mains ka five days ho te, those days are the days of your performance. Please don't add burden on those days. You think ki jo May 26th ko jo ye sab, all these days that are leading up to that, these are equally important. Ye jo May 26th date laga ke, cut off karna, don't do all these things, okay? I am telling you, when I went to my first attempt of prelims, I had cold feet and hands and I ended up making a mistake on Upada Sari, which is from my own state. Okay? Because I was not in my senses. 
you please read on internet also if you are not staying composed that uh, if you are not in right state of mind even if your glasses are in front of you you cannot see them the same thing will happen and here you cannot afford to make mistake and here you cannot the stakes are very high because one year of your life went into it right your stakes are very high so at that time all you have to do is stay calm and composed because there's nothing uh, i'm telling you, you know when you are calm and composed only then you will solve questions because in upsc exam a lot of times uh, what happens is that if you are uh, if you are if you are just thinking that okay this is just a ball of cricket like this is a game of cricket upsc is going to throw 100 balls at me if i'm playing along and having fun enjoying the process understanding there you will you will enjoy it and come out with, joyfully if you are thinking ye sab bouncer ja raha hai ye sab ye se ja raha hai then you will be troubled and it will trouble you even more what i would say is things will happen i mean jo agar aap aise karoge na what happens is that you think ki this question i know okay but you will end up making a mistake on it no problem but if you are calm and composed जो क्वेश्चन आपको नहीं आता है देर यू विल मेक सम सेंस देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन विच आस वेर इज सन टेम्पल लोकेटेड इन द फॉलोइंग प्लेसेस ओके इन दैट देर इज वन ऑप्शन ओमकारेश्वर देर इज वन ऑप्शन रुद्रनाथ वो तो शिव जी का टेम्पल है आई डोंट नो वेर वॉज दिस थिंग वेर वॉज द अमोंग्स द ऑप्शन वेर वॉज सन टेम्पल इन दैट ईयर वेन आई वॉज अटेम्पिंग आई डिड नॉट नो दैट बट सी बिकॉज इफ यू आर कीपिंग योर कॉमन इफ यू आर जस्ट बींग If you are just being there, alert, seeing your in options, देखने से रुद्रनाथ, तुंगनाथ, ये सब तो these these cannot be uh, these are Lord Shiva. They are asking Sun God का temple. You eliminate the options and you will end up. And I am telling you, you please uh, stay quiet and calm. UPSC will want you to reach to the answer. आपको बाकी के options ऐसे देते वो लोग कि आप काट दोगे उसको. This is so stupid. This is so not possible. as i was looking through the 2023 paper there was a question which says ki all the uh, casual workers will be paid uh, is it even possible to uh, to pay all the casual workers over time agar hota bhi ho matlab even if it is bookishly there casual workers will not be paid so when the, these things are true जो एक्सट्रीम स्टेटमेंट्स होते हैं ना दीज थिंग्स आई एम श्योर ऑल ऑफ यू नो ऑल दिस प्रिंसिपल्स जो एक्सट्रीम स्टेटमेंट्स होते हैं वो कभी एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता देर इज ऑलवेज अ ग्रे एरिया देर इज ऑलवेज थिंग्स हैपनिंग ओके सो प्लीज डोंट जो एक्सट्रीम स्टेटमेंट्स होते हैं उनको यू सेफली यू कैन प्ले दैट गेम ऑफ एलिमिनेशन ओके एंड दिस इज एग्जैक्टली एज आई आई सेड दैट यू डोंट नीड एनी मोटिवेशन बट आई एम स्टेलिंग यू it's definitely definitely a fascinating experience to give the prelims mains kya hota hai na mains is a very tiring thing like you have to sit and write for very long time okay there you don't get to enjoy this wit and cleverness of upsc it's like you aap likh rahe ho likh rahe ho 6 ghante this is very like your brain is very sharp like you you are active upsc is active it's like it's going to it's like a table tennis game it's very quick and it's very fast तो प्लीज एंजॉय द एग्जाम ऑल्सो इतना प्रेजर से नहीं जाना कि भूल ही जाओ कि हम एग्जाम लिख रहे एंड वन मोर थिंग आई वॉन्टेड टू टेल वॉज आफ्टर द एग्जाम इज ओवर दिस इज मच लेटर इट सीम्स मच लेटर बट आई वुड वॉन्ट टू टेल मोस्ट ऑफ द कैंडिडेट्स हुम आई है दिस इज वन प्लेस वेर यू नीड टू बी सर्टेन एंड दिस अगेन इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ योर असेसमेंट यू आर एसेसिंग योर सेल्फ ओके आप वापस आते हो इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ योर असेसमेंट यू आर एसेसिंग योर सेल्फ ओके आप वापस आते हो की चेक कर लेना आई एम ऑल्सो मैंशनिंग आंसर कीज ऑफ द यू पी एस सी बिकॉज देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ लाइक एटलीस्ट टू थ्री क्वेश्चन तो डिस्टिपेंसी होते ही है ओके यूपीएससी वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट एंड द अदर इंस्टीट्यूट सो आप डोंट गो फॉर सो मेनी जो रिलेबल इंस्टीट्यूट हो वॉट एवर इज देर इन द मार्केट प्लीज चेक योर की बोथ जी एस वन एंड सी सैट प्रीवियस ईयर टू थ्री ईयर्स की कट ऑफ देख लेना एंड इफ यूर बींग बियॉन्ड हंड्रेड एंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड टेन और हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन Hundred and ten, I'm telling you. Last year, say, close your eyes, take two, three years, two, three days of uh, break, and start for mains. Okay? ऐसा नहीं करना कि don't wait for वैसे अभी prelims का result तो twenty days, twelve days में आ रहा है. But I'm telling you, don't waste those days in those dilemma. Those are horrible times. You need UPSC का result तो just PDF में आता है. It should be just confirmation. अच्छा मैंने ये सोचा था confirm हुआ. आया है. 
अगर इवन इफ यू थिंक आई एम नॉट मेकिंग इट उसमें भी कंफर्मेशन चाहिए दैट मीन्स यू आर एसिंग योर सेल्फ राइट दिस एग्जाम इज ऑल अबाउट ऑल्सो एसिंग योर सेल्फ तो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेन्स में तो आप वो कर नहीं सकते तो प्रिलिम्स में कर लेना इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ यू हैव परफॉर्म्ड एंड इट विल हेल्प यू ट्रस्ट मी इट विल हेल्प यू टू कॉन्फिडेंटली गो अहेड ओके वो डायलोमा नहीं रहेगा मेन्स के लिए पढ़ू टेस्ट सीरीज के लिए एनरोल करूँ डोंट डू ऑल दैट कम एंड चेक योर कॉन्फिडेंटली गो एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू डोंट डू दिस टिमिड गेम बहुत बोल्डली हमें सर्विस भी करना है पीपल को इसमें कोई टिमिड होके डिसीजंस नहीं लेना टिमिड होके क्वेश्चंस नहीं लेना ओके क्वेश्चंस को नहीं सॉल्व करना बिकॉज दे वी यूपीएससी क्लियरली वांट सिविल सर्वेंट्स ये सब तो क्वेश्चंस आर एट वे ऑफ टेस्टिंग यू एंड लाइक व्हाट इल्स कैन दे आस्क देयर इज अ सिलेबस एंड उनको एनवायरमेंट से पूछना है पूछना है वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट इन से सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दे आर आल्सो टेस्टिंग यू बी क्विक बी स्मार्ट बी बी अलर्ट and enjoy enjoy the process and uh, trust me it is a very very enjoyable thing uh, when i look back i think i enjoyed all my prelims i loved them the paper was very fascinating i used to give them uh, my mother used to attempt all the, uh, like agriculture questions my father attempts all the animal husbandry questions so do enjoy the exam and I, now i'll take on the questions i think i spoke for long uh, i hope yeah just just one or two inputs quite fascinating inputs i must say mirudna and the way the way you are describing it जनरली uh, स्टूडेंट्स के दिल में होता है डर प्रिलिम्स का डर बट यू सिम टू बी हैविंग लव ऑफ प्रिलिम्स वे यू कंपेयर प्रिलिम्स एंड मेंस मेंस इज अ मोर टायरिंग प्रोसेस लेकिन यहां पर यू गेट टू प्ले दैट मेंटल गेम यू गेट टू यूज योर विट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू आल्सो गिव मेनी प्रैक्टिकल इनपुट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू हाउ यू हैक द प्रोसेस और यू यूज योर माइंड योर टेक्निक्स टू बी एबल टू or to get edge in the prelims paper prelims is all about that uh 8285 questions now this is this is a common question the a common question of many students kitne questions attempt kare hain paper bahut mushkil aa gaya aap kitne kare hain so this this is a very practical input that you gave golden range 8285 karna hai and this is something i keep on telling to my students i could see some of my two students smiling when you're saying this then Then the equation 60 60 write करना है ठीक है वो तो समझ में आ ही गया है students को going bold taking basically you were mentioning about or you were emphasizing about taking risks when you said you need to go bold yeah all in all you need to take risks in the prelims exam and after getting into service when you become a bureaucrat you have to take risks day in day out that's the life of a bureaucrat and that starts from prelims itself and uh, regarding CSAT also uh, you said more emphasis should be paid to pyqs rather than any institutes mock tests i completely agree with you and this is something i keep saying to my students i would just add one point here uh especially students find this more useful when they do rc reading comprehension because the kind of reading comprehension questions that upsc frames in csat and the kind of passages that upsc gives are quite distinct those those belong to a completely different read something that you can't easily replicate beat test of any institute and uh, 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 one thing one more thing about csat uh, as virutna said mock par zyada emphasis nahi dena hai guys lekin exam se pehle just for the sake of time management again one student was asking should we not give any test of for csat time management ke liye kitna time mein aap attempt kar pa rahe ho utna samajhne ke liye aap de sakte ho otherwise pyqs par hi zyada emphasis karo uh again a very important point that minutna added your prelims is more about clever decision making prelim paper 1 and even paper 2 which question you should be attempting now this is even more applicable as minutna said in csat you can't do this question attempt kar rahe ho aadha minute ek minute de rahe ho baad mein decide kar rahe ho i can't i can't do this you have to be upfront in your decision making and that's why csat is more of a time game Rather than the perception, perception ये बन गया इसी साइड के बारे में कि it is very tough cat level का paper आ रहा है rural background के लोग वरना के लोग background के लोग तो बिल्कुल नहीं कर सकते that's a complete misconception as Virudna pointed out. Virudna also pointed about about the predictability in prelims paper the way she said and she has spoken to her father कि इस बार there will be questions definitely on cyber security and other items that she mentioned. Guys ये predictability कहाँ से आती है? the level of pyq analysis and p 
PYQ trends that Vinutna had observed. Daily two hours. Guys, it's easy to say, but very difficult to do. Daily two hours, usi time slot mein baith ke, aap past year questions kar rahe ho, bar, 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 bar. Ek level ke baad, it starts appearing boring and monotonous. But you need to keep doing it. Something which Vinutna kept on doing. Usi wajah se ye predictability aai. Also, she mentioned ki about Buddhism, Jainism, is to question ho gai. That's one level of predictability. And she gave a very good example of Lakshudeep. She visited Lakshudeep. And with respect to bagging, bagging questions. How do you bag questions? Lakshudeep is too much into news, but sirf passively agar news follow kar rahe ho, that's a very passive way of preparing for your prelims in general and current affairs in particular. Virudna gave this example, ki north-south orientation of Lakshadweep Islands, agar pooch liya jai, you must be in a position to say, to answer that question, ki yes, I know the north-south or south to north orientation of Lakshadweep Islands. That's how you use current affairs actively. Then she gave an example of Formula One race 2022. Question. She didn't know, she just left it. So similarly, you had sports-based question in 2023. Uh, chess Olympia had per question, tha, Benching Cup, Hamilton Russell Cup. I don't know, but I should know that you should know that you should know that you have to leave that question. You haven't read about these races, these cups, these sports ever. So there is no chance that you will be able to answer this correctly. Now it's a different thing. Exam mein agar kuch dimaki batti jalti hai, kuch common sense logic use kar paate ho, that's a different thing. But if you go with the uh, template that Virutna has shared, 85 questions he attempt karna hai, 15 chhodne hai. You can keep that question, those questions in that 15 question for a margin. And she also emphasized the point that you need to think like a bureaucrat. And she made a reference to extreme statements. Guys, now this is very important. Extreme statements, ke mein jab hum sunte hai, we have this perception that the questions are extreme, hote hai, jis mein all, none, ye use hote hai. but thinking from a bureaucratic point of view, uh, she gave an example of casual workers getting uh, overtime, all casual workers being paid overtime. So that is simply, simply not possible if you look at it from a bureaucrat's perspective. It's just not feasible. It doesn't have any extreme words. All, none, some, aisa kuch nahi hai. But from a bureaucrat's point of view, that's simply just not possible. So that is an extreme statement because the context doesn't allow it to become right. So all in all, these were the important points apart from other aspects that she uh, mentioned, Virutta mentioned. We'll take up a few questions. But before taking up questions, guys, <clears throat> Mirutna has also uh, committed that she will be giving her notes. Whenever she finds time, the notes that she made on P PYQs or any other handwritten notes that Mirutna has made, whenever she finds time, she'll be sharing with you. I'll share those notes in the Telegram group. I hope like most of you are part of my Telegram group. Those who are not part of the Telegram group, guys, you can share your number or you can DM me your number. I'll share it on WhatsApp. Fine. So now we'll take up questions very quickly. Uh, Virutna is short on time. We'll try to take these questions very quickly. Uh, one student was also asking about mocks. Uh, Virutna, we, when we had uh, spoken on phone, you made this point that uh, you should be giving mocks, yeah. but you should not yes, be sir. taking scores. Uh, I will tell about the mock exam. So there are a lot of mock exams, right? Abhi, what I used to do, no, uh, every uh, even I gave mock exams. Uh, they because uh, UPSC's previous year questions is for analysis, but this is for a different purpose. Okay, so I used to give every Wednesday and Sunday mock exam. So every Wednesday and Sunday, like uh, nine thirty to eleven thirty again, bring an OMR sheet. If you have enrolled yourself in a test series, that is a different thing. If you are doing it uh, by yourself, bring an OMR booklet. Do it like a prelims paper. Don't think I will give a mark. So, uh, mock exams, bring that paper. Solve it from 9.30 to 11.30. In fact, I would say solve it from 9.30 to 11 only. Okay? And uh, check it. Do it. Do the next. So, now, what do you derive out of that uh, mock exam is more important. One, don't take your score seriously. I, I could see a question. And I'm telling you, don't take your uh, score seriously because 
the three stages of exam i have been through and i'm telling you confidently everybody tries to go close to what upsc does but it's very tough and hard nobody can replicate what they do okay neither in prelims nor in mains nor in inter okay so mock exam is just for your practice that is not your score try to understand this agar aapko is pe 80 mil rahe it is it is highly possible you might end up beyond 100 there if you are getting 100 here you might get 70 there so don't rely on the score of mocks mocks are not meant to take the score seriously it's to one get the areas which you have missed on the preparation see if you are preparing on something mock exams mein kai bar kya hota hai they ask um, words there are certain terminology this is attached to what kind of this things you know it is not possible ki you can cover them in your own uh, current affairs or your static preparation whatever you are doing there might be something which you must have missed on okay so that is if if those areas if you found on the mock paper there is a very detailed explanation that is given behind no you please use it as a learning you learnt one question you might end up getting that question and you get that thing right in the upsc paper no then your mock is mock purpose is survived fulfilled ओके ऐसे नहीं कि मॉक्स को सीरियसली लेना है मॉक्स को इसीलिए लेना है कि यू गेट टू नो न्यू एरियाज वन सेकेंड इज यू गेट एनालिसिस एंड यू एस एस योर सेल्फ सी यू डू इट इन राउंड नो यू रीड द पेपर वन लाइक एंड यू अटेम्प्ट देम वन सो फर्स्ट टाइम वेन आई एम अटेम्प्टिंग i am this is like you have to all this do all this permutations and combinations in your mock exam after my paper is over on sunday it used to take me 2 hours 3 hours to just analyze what i did in mock i used to set 1 to 100 so 1 to 100 ek bar kya uh, first round mein jo maine attempt kiya 1 2 3 4 first round mein attempt maine kiya if i am getting like somewhere around 45 48 51 questions uh, first attempt may if i was able to solve okay 51 questions 50 questions i was able to solve. then the paper is relatively on a good side it's a very good i mean wo acha hai paper iska matlab aapko 50 questions pata hai usko iska matlab you are familiar with 50 questions now in the second aapko wo 30 questions aur attempt karne you have to go till 85 no hamara abhi 30 aur baki hai now i'll go to my second round i'll analyze which is the questions i need to take risk take chance and attempt in my second round okay so usko mujhe push karni hai 50 se say i reach now 65 now there is no other way aapko karni padegi baki isme se filter isme se filter matlab agar formula 1 bhi na formula 1 ho jaise sir bol rahe chess board ho that's what if you agar aap ye soch ke baithe ho ki mujhe and do one thing okay yeah जो पहली राउंड है 51 क्वेश्चंस आपने अटेम्प्ट किए डू बबल देम इमीडिएटली ये मत करना कि मैं पहला पूरा 85 कर दूंगी देन आई विल बबल डोंट डू इट आई वुड से दैट टू आवर्स जस्ट पासेस बाय लाइक हाफ एन आवर ओके सो डू योर फर्स्ट राउंड एंड बबल दोस क्वेश्चंस एंड इन द सेकंड राउंड एज यू आर गेटिंग द क्वेश्चंस बबल देम इमीडिएटली ओके सो एंड फिल्टर द क्वेश्चंस एवरी टाइम This I would say from the mocks. Ko. Mocks ko aapko is se analysis karni hai ki, aapne pehli round mein 50 so attempt kiya tha, second round mein 20, third round round mein 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 30, 85 first 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 you are certain of of them get get right, how many did I get right? You might end up getting 40 right only, Usme 10 negative jate hai. So आपको through mocks through practicing what ten increase karni hai your certainty your precision that should increase jo aapko lagta hai ki aapko aate hai wo galat nahi hoga galat nahi hona chahiye and those 15 questions jo aapne choda hai 85 85 ke baad jo aapne question socha ki ye mujhse hoga hi nahi agar ab maine attempt bhi kiya ye mujhse galat hi hoga wo questions ko bhi aapko mock mein attempt karna hai attempt them in mock and see the key you understand ki acha ye this 15 i have left even if i have attempted them i would get them wrong only iska matlab these are the questions i need to identify in the upsc paper also ye 15 ko chuna hi nahi ye sab karne ke liye hote mocks not to get the scores and worried ki mera to prelims nahi niklega not for this you mock should be like tools to make your uh, strategy or preparation or oh, i mean uh, preparation strategy so ye sab uh, do all this uh, in your mock exams that is what i would derive
All right, uh, Harit Kumar is asking, how do we revise our static portion multiple times without wasting time? Harit, Harit Kumar, this is a vague question. Uh, Virutna is hard pressed for time. You can ping me in the group or uh, drop your number. I'll speak to you one on one. Uh, Harit Kumar has also asked, uh, ma'am, for current affairs, what should be our approach in these final days? I'm uh, Harit Kumar, see, follow any single source, but do it multiple times, I'm sure. Virudna will also uh, agree with me. What would you add, Virudna? No, uh, same thing, sir. Uh, current affairs, ke liye, you must have read the newspaper throughout. No? So uh, that is there. And uh, these things that comes as a snippet, so those are very important. Jaise wo, uh, any institute, I'm sure you must have already done the work. Abhi kuch, uh, uh, any institute, whatever the supplementary source you're reading, pick up that and do that multiple times. Like I used to keep a count and do revisions, like minimum seven times, eight times, only then things will uh, get registered. Okay, uh, Harit Kumar has on what actually analyzing PYQs mean? What should be the mind process? In fact, can you please take one sample question and guide us how you used to do? Do you remember any question, Vinutna? As I've said, sir, that Omkarishwar thing is one thing I could see. And there was one more question one year on uh, Omkarishwar. Uh, what was that? OBCs. This again was again uh, the casual workers kind of thing, sir. I think uh, those will those are the things I can remember. I've seen the paper. Percentage percentage of OBCs. Haan, all the question. Land owned. The question hmm. clearly says that all the OBCs are land owned. OBCs don't work. Yeah, that is you should uh, mm -hmm. immediately eliminate that option, and you will end up in right answer. Mm -hmm. Certainly, uh, Harit Kumar. See these things I have quite uh, in detailed manner discussed and pinned in the Telegram group. If you are part of the group, find the pinned section. If not, drop your number in the chat box or DM me. Mm, then we have Doctor Amraza Afroza. Is yearly current affairs come? We have addressed this preparing for last attempt along with my full-time job. So sometimes feels my comfort, my effort is not sufficient. How to how to release this fear? Kindly show some light. Yes, Minutna. Uh, can you please repeat the question, sir? Okay. Uh Tamaraza says she's uh, preparing for last attempt along with a full-time job. So uh, she has this anxiety that her efforts are not sufficient. So how do we how do we tackle? this feeling of uh, missing out and the overall exam pressure, even you have been through such a pressure. How do you deal with it? Okay, so Afroza is it, sir? Uh, yeah. I clearly uh, can relate to because as the attempts pass by and it's your last attempt. So firstly, no, uh, please don't uh, take a lot of pressure because I can understand you're working also. The time you must be giving for, uh, the time must be a constraint and you are already exhausted. And you know, uh, that is how it is. Uh, everybody is going through the same grind. Uh, it's just that uh, we, jo, uh, people who have ignored all the other things and made this one, ki isko jo chahiye, I'll do the things right. Like, you know, there is this saying, ki doing the right things and doing things right, you know. So it's like that. You need to uh, do certain things and do them right. And you now the time you are in, I would want because this is your last attempt, and I so wish for you to make it. That you need to prioritize this. There is no other way. And you need to. I'm sure you must be doing it also. You need to compromise on so many other things and yet focus on this. And uh, but when you're doing your all efforts and. And this is like, I don't know how to respond, but if you think that your efforts are sufficient, what's the only answer? Put in more efforts. Bring out all you can. Because it's truly, um, after Bharat Darshan, I'm just roaming around with a quote in my head that says, uh, you better be deserving because this service is very rewarding. So that's what I would say for you also. Yeah, I can see Tamara, uh, Tamara Froza on the screen. And I think her question is well addressed. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Akash is asking, is Ram Mandir important for art and culture? See, there won't be a direct question on Ram Mandir. But as uh, Virutna has said, with respect to Lakshadweep, north-south orientation, because Lakshadweep has been in use. So even even, if, uh, yeah. uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, sir. Yeah. Even if there is, you, we all know, constitutionally, it's secular and all. Forget that. Jo, aapko questions na UPSC, no controversies at all. 
प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड उस अगर इते वांट टू आस्क आल्सो दे विल आस्क यू कि अबाउट टेंपल ट्रस्ट्स और दे विल आस्क यू अबाउट द डेस्टिनेशन अयोध्या और दे माइट आस्क यू अबाउट सरयू रिवर हमारा इंटेंशन यू प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम द वाइड स्पेक्ट्रम सरयू रिवर इज अ ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ व्हाट आर द रिवर्स दैट आर पासिंग थ्रू वो आप राम मंदिर नहीं बोल सकते हो ना so read it from a different point of view jo cheeze baki common citizen of india ko dikhti hai usse beyond dekhna hai hame so usse bhi questions aate hai to there is geography in it there is history in it there is uh, supreme court verdicts in it so there are a lot more material we need to focus on rather than on that one thing yeah similarly similarly ram mandir ke upar baat kar rahe ho cultural point of view se ram charit manas tulsidas who was the contemporary mogal ruler इन चीजों पर हमको ज्यादा देखना है दिस इज व्हाट पीवाईक्यू एंकरिंग इज और पीवाईक्यू एनालिसिस इज राइट ओके मूविंग अहेड डेली रूटीन से डेली रूटीन यहां पर डिस्कस नहीं हो सकता तुम्हारा ड्रॉप योर नंबर डीएम करो मुझे आई स्पीक टू यू वन ऑन वन द सेशन इज ऑथेंटिक थैंक यू सो मच प्रणिता यस सुजन हाउ टू मेक रिविजन नोट्स Uh, very quickly if you can vinod vinod now so revision uh, what do you, uh, revision ke liye notes na uh, i told you no i i will look up to and share some of mine but see uh, please keep this list ready uh, the whatever uh, i told no species ho and so many institutes already have international organizations species then uh, the national parks while uh, why uh, the uh, what do you call the things that are in news national parks wildlife sanctuaries uh, what else international organize places in news that is a one thing which uh, which is there like jaisa i mene lakshad bhi bola and countries what are the countries that were in news and countries agar aap dekh rahe ho jaise sir ne bola exactly lakshad bhi aap lakshad bhi was in news agar lakshad bhi se question aaya and aapne miss kiya iska matlab aapne galti ki jaise lakshad bhi bhai immediately open the map look where is it what is the country that is proximity on the left on the right how far is it from andaman how far is it from kochi in the mainland ye sab dekhna how far is it from maldives मतलब यू हैव ऑल दिस थिंग्स तब जाके आपको एक क्वेश्चन बैग होगा डूइंग ऑल दिस सो आई थिंक रिवीजन के लिए तो अभी अब तक अपने व्हाट एवर यू हैव डन डू इट स्पेक्ट्रम इफ यू आर डूइंग जो स्पेक्ट्रम की समरीज है वो ऑलरेडी इट इज इन समरी एंड जो आई यूज टू मेक अ नोट्स ऑफ ऑल दिस uh the hind uh, especially modern indian history me there are a lot of uh, congress sessions the uh, journals uh, mook nayak dr b r ambedkar so there are so many things you know journals articles years uh, the series of governor generals yes sir like all these things which you have to have on tips keep a notes of it okay uh, we'll take just a few questions because vinodna is hard pressed on time uh, aditi is asking uh, an important question how to remain calm on exam day See, just before Virudna steps in, please ensure that you are in the company of serious aspirants, or you are in the company of a mentor. अभी यहाँ पर mentor मतलब not just me. It can be your friend, your senior, someone who has cracked exam already. It can be your mother, father, anyone. Because in case of Virudna, her parents were very much her mentors. The way they guided her throughout her life and helped her stay calm, composed. so serious aspirants mentor and this is something vinodna also under, understood in probably in the fifth year fifth attempt vinodna yes yeah? sir so you have this luxury aditi vinodna had to wait for these many years to understand the importance of a serious close knit group of aspirants or having a mentor in your life but you know this first hand okay uh, then so i would uh, what uh, if i can uh, add on yeah. to it yeah 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 especially for being calm no i don't know if it could be help it was helpful for me i used to meditate okay mm-hmm. so uh, because you are under so much of uh, this thing and you you have to resort to something i would say in the last times it is a practice which you should imbibe in your this thing otherwise also so what you do is just uh, take uh, please practice meditation for it, for barely 15 minutes of your day invest in it and it's a very beautiful investment you will automatically get that sense of calmness you will introspect and you will uh, you will be okay but don't do it on that day only uh, get into a habit of it like so ek weeks se pehle 15 days se pehle just so much is happening in your brain and head there is a, there is a, you should have that element of silence also no so for 15 minutes just stay quiet in your whole day just don't think about and meditate okay last one to two questions then i'll allow one or two students to unmute themselves and ask questions that and then we can end uh devesh is asking 
a very relevant question. He is saying, ma'am, how much questions ideally should we be attempting in CSAT? Because in paper yes. one, we gave the golden ring. Yes. Ha, ha. 50, uh, 50 beyond. 50, 53, 55. Don't go beyond 55. Where is 55? CSAT, mein kya hota? Like CSAT mein what happens is that when you are attempting 55, usme is a quest. because you, only if you are certain you are attempting them. No? And I am telling you, attempt all the comprehension types. And uh, uh, 53, 54, go, go till there. 55. 55 is also a good number. And if you are getting, uh, you should get 67. No? If you are getting like 50 right, you're almost there. 2.5 per one question. So, Ushmita, how to start the paper in CSAT RC? We can't have this, these detailed questions, Ushmita. Ping me in the Telegram group or drop important topics from static. She has already addressed PYQs are your guiding light. Itna bada example diya to hai, Shri. Ki Lakshadip Nagar news mein hai, geography mein bhi hai, aap padte ho. Usko thoda sa aur broader horizon karke padna hai. Ecology and environment. Uh, is there any add-on for PYQ analysis other than studying the theme of the questions? PYQ analysis per kafi question hota hai. Let's uh, now we will keep this as the last question. Uh, PYQ analysis per general kafi questions hota hai. And this is the common concern of students. So any add-on for PYQ analysis other than studying the theme of the question? What would you not say? Just, not just studying the theme. Uh, apply your mind. Uh, you have to apply your mind and not just the theme. Aapko ye sochna hai ki, why did UPSC ask that? Wo CRP that was in current affairs. One, one reason is that. Second, without relevance, they will not ask. Se second is that. And third, you also, when you are analyzing the previous year questions, you, you please go and understand how UPSC is helping you to reach the answer. Keep the answer key of UPSC aside you. And wo answer, answer up mark kar lena. Then go and th think, ki, kya sochne par main us answer pe sakta. Okay, thinking of thinking in which lines will help me reach that answer. So you do all this, uh, this and apne agar wo question kara, if, you, if you have done that also, I would say do that previous questions bar bar and think on those lines. Because the thought process develop karna hai. Not just understanding the theme, the thinking process that goes behind reaching the answer also you should get. Okay, uh, finally. One or two questions from students who have their cameras on. Guys, raise your hand if you have any question. Those students who have their cameras on, raise your hand if you have any questions. I'll allow you to unmute and please keep your questions very brief. Yes, Harit Kumar, very quickly, I have, you can unmute now. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Yeah, uh, ma'am, uh, directly coming on the question, uh, like what were the resources you followed for environment and science and tech as we usually neglect it throughout our journey and in the final days we read them? How did you neglect the environment? What's your uh, name? Like uh, current affairs, we usually do, but the uh, main static portion of environment and science and tech, like what, what should be the basic source we should thoroughly, like we do NCRTs for history and politics. Yeah, got it. So, Harit, uh, uh, science and technology, ke liye you don't have to read static. Okay. It, there's nothing static for science and technology. Science and technology questions are only applied. They will not ask you about rocket science. They'll ask you about Gaganyan or PSLV. Okay, they'll not ask you things like, uh, um, what do you mean by algorithm? They'll ask you questions like, what is artificial intelligence, machine learning, all these things, which are in use, which government of India is interested in. Not something that is, if there is art, uh, science and technology development that has happened in US, relevant what government of India is trying to bring in. This is the schemes, the science and technology, jo, science and technology related to schemes of no, Vigyan, where ISRO and uh, school children are tying up, Jigyasa, yes, these kind of things. So science and technology is also very, very, um, real, I mean, what do you call India oriented and what government of India is wanting to do. And uske liye, aapko current affairs kar liji, what the current affairs of science and technology is more than sufficient. Jo, Institutes hote na, the uh, supplementary resources jo milte, monthly magazines, what we call any institute are like jo bhi science and technology compilation hai, 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 to 11 yeah. months ka hai na. To 11 yeah. months compilation, you please go through them uh, repeatedly. If okay. you miss a question of science and technology, aap ye nahi bol sakte ho. come back and see wo, wo 11 months mein hota hai. Yes, okay? Like that. So science and technology and environment, if you're planning to cover your current affairs, do it from your monthly magazines. That should suffice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and, and Sai Krishna, and Sai Krishna, you can unmute yourself. 
yeah in a sense uh, so uh, so my question is uh, so apart from the apqs and uh, the current affairs what should we do in order to succeed in prelims this is a very vague question and apart- so so sir uh, yeah, actually for current uh, uh, for the static sir actually i haven't completed the static yet uh, so uh, actually i uh, i uh, yeah, completed the static courses actually classes actually but not mm-hmm. completed the uh, static books actually so uh, do i need to rev- that is uh, start reading now that static books yes vinodna so uh, sai krishna what uh, if you have done your coaching and you haven't done reading static I would say आपको यू नीड टू वर्क अ लॉट मोर अभी जो आपके आपके पास टाइम है आपको स्टार्टिंग भी करनी है और करंट अफेयर्स भी करनी है एंड यू आर आई यू अटेम्प्टिंग ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आपके पास टाइम है आप ये कर लीजिए जो जैसे मैंने बोला अभी यू प्लीज डू दिस थिंग की जो पॉलिटी क्वेश्चन है जो स्पेक्ट्रम जो मॉडर्न इंडियन हिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन है जो आर्ट एंड कल्चर क्वेश्चन है गो इन दिस वे डोंट गो ऑल आउट की मुझे अभी पहले से शुरू करनी है एनसीआर टी से शुरू करके मैं बिल्डअप आई डू स्टार्टिंग फर्स्ट आई डू करंट अफेयर फर्स्ट आपके आपके पास वो लग्जरी नहीं है अभी ओके यू डोंट हैव दैट लग्जरी ऑफ डूइंग एवरी थिंग एंड डूइंग ऑल ऑफ दट टूगेदर सो आपको इफ यू आर डूइंग लक्ष्मी से इफ यूर इफ यू वॉन्टिंग टू कवर पॉलिटी जो करंट अफेयर में पॉलिटी है जैसे कैग है ईसीए है वो है you have to go back to polity and you have to do reverse engineering now you cannot have the luxury of reading lakshmikant first and then going to current affairs and identifying the topics and coming back to lakshmikant then re revising them aapko current affairs of polity mein jo jo important hai go back to lakshmikant and read those topics so do the reverse engineering and you have now it's like a very quick mode of preparation what all you can put into your bag and get the questions that aapko wo karni hai आर्ट एंड कल्चर क्वेश्चन आ रहे हैं एनवायरमेंट क्वेश्चन आ रहे हैं करंट अफेयर्स करनी है स्पीसीज करनी है गेट फिफ्टी फाइव बियॉन्ड राइट तो फिफ्टी फाइव शुड बी योर मैजिक नंबर एंड बियॉन्ड सिक्सटी तो आपको रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग चलनी है अभी स्पेक्ट्रम लेके मैं बैठ मत जाना दैट विल टेक इट इज अ लॉन्ग प्रोसेस डू द रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग क्विक मोड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन जो भी पीवाईक्यूज ने पूछ रखे हैं ओके ओके क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग टर्मिनोलॉजी लास्ट वन मिनट गाइस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन प्लीज रेज योर हैंड आई विल अलाउ यू लास्ट वन मिनट तमराजा यू वर रेजिंग हैंड अर्लियर डू यू हैव अ क्वेश्चन यू कैन अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ गुड इवनिंग मैम एंड सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू आई गॉट मोटिवेटेड एंड सीरियसली इट्स पीएलडी सिचुएशन राइट नाउ just uh, one main question was that uh, time management and you did it very well and the uh, another question is ma'am pi topic taking at the uh, whole year study there was lots of uh, impo- uh, notes but right now what should be only the focus the topics which is covering into the piq just like you mentioned that uh, spectrum we should not pull up these things so that will be sufficient that the question is tricking in my mind am i doing the sufficient or not that's the main problem so aap uh, previous year questions you are you are you are like understanding the topics they are interested in aap ye are you are asking me if that is sufficient right yes, uh, so what i uh, tamra tamara okay yes tamara yeah yeah tamara so uh, aapka jo uh, jaise maine abhi tak i am emphasizing only only understanding the topics पर्पस नहीं है पीवाईक्यू से आपको बहुत कुछ पता चलता है कि yes, आप बार बार नॉट जस्ट यूपीएससी हम कोई भी एग्जाम के लिए प्रिपेयर कर रहे हो कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम के लिए वी नीड टू सी द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन इट्स नथिंग बट लॉजिकल नो वाई डू वी सी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन क्योंकि वन वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द इंस्टीट्यूशन इज एक्सपेक्टिंग आउट ऑफ अस ओके जो यूपीएससी सिविल सर्विसेज के लिए रिक्रूट करो एस बी आई पी ओ के लिए रिक्रूट करो स्टाफ सिलेक्शन मतलब स्टाफ सिलेक्शन के लिए इफ देर इज अ रिक्रूटमेंट है वो प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन हमारे लिए इतने इंपॉर्टेंट क्यों है क्योंकि हमें वो ये बताते हैं कि वॉट आर दे लुकिंग फॉर इन आस टॉपिक्स में चूज कर रहे हो जैसे बचपन में होता है ना इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इम्पोर्टेंट ऐसा ना होता यूपीएससी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन के एनालिसिस ओके आपको ये प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ये समझना है की 
जैसे मैंने अभी एक और ट्रिक बोला ना आप आंसर की लगा लेना आंसर की टिक मार करके आप ये प्रोसेस करना फाइव मिनट्स बैठ के किस किस डायरेक्शन क्योंकि जैसे हम एक क्वेश्चन पढ़ते हैं सो मेनी थॉट्स ओपन अप क्या सोचू क्या सोचू क्या सोचू फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू शुड तो आपको सारा नॉइस कट आउट करके यू हैव टू थिंक इन वन डिरेक्शन वो डिरेक्शन में सोचने पे आप वो करेक्ट करेक्ट आंसर पे पहुंचते हो सो आपको ये सोचना है कि यू एनालिसिस में यही करना है वो करेक्ट आंसर तक पहुंचने के लिए मुझे बाकी के थ्री ऑप्शन एलिमिनेट करनी है तो यू नीट टू गो लाइक रेट्रोस्पेक्टिवली यू नीट टू कनेक्ट द डॉट बैकवर्ड्स एंड गेट की डूइंग वॉट विल गेट मी टू दैट आंसर सो वो थॉट प्रोसेस डेवलप करनी है एंड जैसे आपने एक क्वेश्चन में वो किया फाइव क्वेश्चन में किया आज टेन क्वेश्चन में किया ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन में किया नेक्स्ट डे वो थॉट प्रोसेस अप्लाई करके आप क्वेश्चन अटेम्प्ट करना इफ यू आर गेटिंग इट राइट तो आपने यूपीएससी का हैक कर ही लिया है ना यू you you understand the process so, so that is why i'm by analysis analysis is a very broad word jitna late you can get out of it i hope it yes ma'am all right thank And you ma'am just to summarize in in her uh, previous session as well mrudna had said ki baki dusre exams bhi kafi difficult aur objective hote hain she she had given this example of uh, iit je now these are also objective papers but uh, as a bureaucrat as a bureaucrat she is thrown into 100 different situations in that paper you are faced with 100 questions hmm. so as a bureaucrat abhi aap bureaucrat nahi bane ho but you need to have that mentality agar aap ek bureaucrat ho how would you be facing those questions and this is exactly how you analyze pyqs right pehle agar upsc ne questions puche hai cyber security ke upar lakshwadeep ke upar ke upar and other things that we have discussed what can be the other questions which can be framed on similar lines kyunki upsc ke thought process to nahi badlegi right mm. so i think i think this this uh, uh, would be all and this has been quite a fascinating uh, session i'm sure you can see the the smiles uh, on the on the faces of students they are quite satisfied and their doubts beat with respect to pyq analysis and paper approach in general and having a pro- broad strategy for the next 110 days it's quite clear to them and just as i have mentioned earlier whenever she gets time whenever virudha gets time she'll share her notes and i'll share with you in my telegram group if you are not part of the group just share your number whatsapp number in the chat we'll take it up from there so i think we can end it here quite an insightful session thank you sir for giving me this platform of interacting with aspirant it's always fresh that i feel even more grateful when i talk ki i i'm out of that and uh, to all the aspirants who have been part of this platform uh, you are already you know like uh, in a safe hands you have the mentorship and jaise i was there one year back hamare paas sab kuch hai like you have everything all the resources all the this thing don't spoil it with stupid mistakes okay because this is hard and out of all the resources most precious thing is our time we have given it time and uh, our energy our time is very precious so make the best use of it what two hours cannot ruin your 365 days so make the best out of those two hours all the very best uh, i hope i mean whoever is appearing may they all come with smiling faces all the best yeah on this note on this note as vinutna has said don't make stupid mistakes you have access to each and everything like mirutna has given you practical insights with respect to prelims preparation and performance in the exam similarly i have been sharing my insights other rankers have been sharing your insights guys you have all the arsenal you need you just need to implement these learnings so on these notes on on this note we can end the webinar uh, thanks mirutna for taking out time thanks, thanks. guys for sticking on Good night. Good night.